The long-awaited ICO Neo Star 3 is finally here in the UK. It's available for order and this is the panel that we're quoting as standard. So what is so great about this solar panel? Is the Neo Star 3 still one of the top panels in the UK? How much better is it than the Neo Star 2? And is this the solar panel that you should be looking at for your roof? In this video, I'm going to take a deep dive into the Neo Star 3 and discuss the performance figures and different models available. To start with, as with the Neo Star 2, there are two main lines of the Neo Star 3 module, the Neo Star 3P and the Neo Star 3S. There are a few main differences between the two. The main difference is that the 3P lineup consists of slightly more efficient and higher output modules. However, it's not an all black panel. It's black frame with a silver back sheet. The 3S is marginally less efficient. However, the panels are all black. They're both mono glass panels, meaning that the front surface of the panel is a tempered glass pane and the back surface is a polymer back sheet. The all black 3S lineup is about 10% more expensive than the black and silver 3P lineup. So if you're not concerned about panels being all black, then it's definitely worth going for the 3P. The reason for the price difference is simply that the all black panels are more popular than the non all black panels just because they look a bit better. Anyway, let's get into the technical review and see how these panels stack up against other top panels in the industry. To start with, let's look at the most important figure, which is the rated power output of the solar panel. When solar cells are manufactured, some are more efficient than others. This is why each panel lineup has a range of panel ratings. In the factory, they measure each cell's efficiency and the most efficient cells go into one module and the least efficient cells go into another module. This is the same with silicon chips. The most efficient chips go into the Intel i9, the less efficient chips go into the i3 and the i5. The all black Neostar 3S series ranges from a 460 to 490 watt module. So the most efficient cells are in the 490 watt panel. The 3P series ranges from a 470 watt module up to a 500 watt module. That's right, standard size solar panels have now cracked the 500 watt mark, which is absolutely crazy, considering that a few years ago we were still in the 350 to 400 watt range. The rate of progress in this industry is really exciting. Now you can't get hold of the entire range and the top end panels are not currently available in the UK. At the time of making this video, the highest spec all black 3S model available is the 475 watt and the highest rating non all black 3P module is the 485 watt. As time goes on, panel manufacturers do release the more efficient modules. So with the previous generation ICO Neo Star 2, for example, we started 2024 with the 455 watt all black module, then about six months later moved to the 460 watt, then six months later were able to offer the 465 watt panel. So as time goes on, ICO will start to release the higher output panels for sale in the UK. Let's look at another headline figure, which is the solar panels module efficiency. This is where ICO has really managed to carve out a bit of a lead over other solar panel manufacturers in the past few years. Solar panel module efficiency is a measure for the power output per meter squared of the solar panel. To calculate module efficiency, you hit the panel with 1000 watts of light per meter squared and then see what is outputted. So if the panel is outputting 230 watts per meter squared, it has a module efficiency of 23%. Module efficiency is different to cell efficiency, which is to do with how effective the actual photovoltaic cells within the panels are. Obviously, you're looking to get the most efficient panel so that you're maximizing the amount of generation on your roof and therefore maximizing your rate of return. The ICO Neostar 3 module has cracked a whopping 25% efficiency. The top end panel in the more efficient 3P range is 500 watts with 25% efficiency, which is a real milestone for the solar industry. There are other commercial scale panels that are larger and more efficient. However, for standard size residential scale solar panels, a 500 watt module with 25% efficiency is quite an iconic stake in the ground sort of moment. The Neostar 3P ranges from 23.5% for the low end 470 watt module up to 25% for the 500 watt. 
The 485 watt panel that's currently available in the UK has an efficiency of 24.3%. The 3S ranges from 23% for the 460 watt module up to 24.5% for the 490 watt module. The 475 watt all black panel currently on sale in the UK has an efficiency of 23.8%, which is great. Now these panels are more efficient than other modules currently available in the industry. The closest competitor is probably the Urena Nexa 500 watt, which has an efficiency of 23%. See my recent review of that panel to learn more about it. The JA Solar 450 watt module that Octopus Energy installs as standard is only 22.5% efficient. I'm not too sure as to why they don't pick a more efficient panel, as getting the best rate of return from a solar system is all about maximising the generation that you're getting from your roof space. So how has ICO managed to lead the industry in terms of module efficiency? Well, module efficiency is all about how much of the light hitting the panel is converted into electricity. But remember that the front of a solar panel isn't just the solar cells. There are also bus bars and electrical connections that aren't converting any light into electricity. These connections bring the efficiency of the panel down. While a lot of solar panels have electrical contacts on the front, ICO has put the contacts on the back. They're using something called ABC technology, which stands for All Black Contact. This allows for more sunlight to reach the active surface of the solar panel. Before I go on to ICO's exciting shade mitigation technology, I want to quickly say that if you're within two hours of Reading, please do get in touch with Spirit Energy, and either myself or my colleagues will give you a bespoke technical quotation that is tailored to your needs and maximizes the return that you're getting from your solar and battery. Do check out the case study video series that we made, which runs through an entire Spirit Energy installation from the point of inquiry to the design, survey, project management and installation and handover to see what you get when you request a quote with us. Back to the video. Let's take a look at another aspect where ICO claims to have an industry leading solution, which is solar panel shade mitigation. Now, standard solar panels have a bit of shade mitigation built into them through the medium of bypass diodes. Bypass diodes are small electronic components built into a solar panel's junction box. Their job is to allow current to bypass parts of the panel that are shaded or underperforming. Bypass diodes are built into solar panels to prevent power loss and overheating when part of the panel is shaded. Since solar cells are wired in series, shading even a small section can significantly reduce output or block current altogether. Bypass diodes solve this by allowing electricity to flow around the shaded section, maintaining overall current through the rest of the panel and protecting the shaded cells from damage. There are typically three bypass diodes in a solar panel and they split the panels up into thirds vertically. If a solar panel was shaded and had no bypass diodes, the shaded cells would act like resistors in the circuit. Since solar cells are connected in series, the current flowing through the entire string is limited by the weakest or most shaded cell. ICO's advanced shade mitigation works through a combination of their ABC technology and clever internal circuit design that reduces the impact of partial shading on panel performance. Unlike conventional panels that divide the cell string into three sections with bypass diodes, ICO's ABC modules subdivide the panel into more smaller independently working sections. This means that if one small area is shaded, like from a tree branch, a bird dropping or a chimney for example, the rest of the panel continues to operate with minimal loss. Because the current path is shorter and the contact system is on the back, ICO can implement fine-grained control over how current flows through the panel. This design reduces the voltage drop and avoids large sections being dragged down by a single shaded spot. It also minimizes hotspots and improves long-term reliability. ICO claims that their panels maintain higher output under partial shading than most standard panels, even when traditional bypass diodes would have triggered and cut out large parts of a typical panel. I haven't seen many independent tests of this, so can't verify the difference that this technology makes, although ICO has released a video showing how their panel performs against a standard panel from another manufacturer which doesn't have their technology built into it.
Next, we'll look at the temperature coefficient of the panel. This is quite an important figure as it shows how the panel efficiency varies in different temperature conditions. Temperature coefficient is measured in percentage per degree Celsius and gives a figure for the performance drop off of the solar panel for every degree Celsius above 25 degrees. The ICO Neostar 3 has the same temperature coefficient of the Neostar 2 at minus 0.26% per degree Celsius. That means that for every degree Celsius above 25 degrees, the panel will output 0.26% less. This is very good when compared to other modules available. The Urena Nexa has a coefficient of minus 0.29%. The JA Solar offered by Octopus has a coefficient of minus 0.3%. The SunPower P7 is at minus 0.29%. The only panel that beats the Neostar 3 is the REC Alpha RX, which has a coefficient of minus 0.24% per degree Celsius. That's really good. If you would like to see a detailed solar panel comparison video, do check out our video which talks about the best solar panels available in 2025. As with the other industry-leading solar panels, the Neostar 3 uses monocrystalline silicon with an N-type semiconductor. The alternative to monocrystalline is polycrystalline, which used to be the industry standard. Monocrystalline silicon offers higher efficiency than polycrystalline as it's made from a single crystal structure that allows electrons to move more freely, resulting in better performance, especially in low light conditions. The alternative to an N-type semiconductor is a P-type semiconductor. Using N-type silicon rather than P-type brings further advantages. N-type cells are less prone to light-induced degradation, perform better at higher temperatures, and typically have a longer operational lifespan. This combination of monocrystalline structure and N-type doping makes the Neostar 3 and other solar panels more efficient, more stable and more reliable over time than panels using older P-type or polycrystalline technologies. As well as industry-leading technology, the Neostar 3 also has a great warranty. As you know, solar panels come with two warranties, a performance warranty and a product warranty. The product warranty protects against manufacturing defects and material failures, such as issues with the frame, glass or electrical connections. On the other hand, the performance warranty guarantees that the panel will continue to produce a certain percentage of its original power output over time. While the product warranty ensures the panel remains physically functional, the performance warranty ensures it continues generating electricity at an acceptable rate as it ages. The Neostar 3 comes with a 25-year product warranty and a 30-year performance warranty. The performance warranty guarantees 88.85% power output after 25 years, which is really excellent. I'm skeptical as to whether solar panels really degrade much at all. I recently made a video looking at three systems that Spirit Energy installed in 2010 to see how they're performing and it doesn't look as though there is anywhere near as much degradation as the panel manufacturers talk about on the data sheets. The Neostar 3 warranty is competitive and is superior to that offered by JA Solar and Urena. It's not as good as the warranty you get with more premium brands like SunPower and REC, but you do have to pay more for those, and the Neostar 3 does beat them in most other categories. So, the ICO Neostar 3. Is this a solar panel that you should be considering for your roof? I'd say absolutely yes. It's leading the way in terms of module efficiency, and ICO is helping to drive the industry forward with their new shade mitigation technology. As I said earlier in the video, if you aren't concerned about aesthetics, then i certainly opt for the 3P range instead of the 3S range, as you will get a better panel and pay about 10% less. Thanks for watching and do check out our other videos on solar panels and battery storage. If you are interested in a quotation for a solar and battery storage system, do get in touch with Spirit Energy and we'll be happy to help.